Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants? I'm back, guys. Click that like button, subscribe to my channel. What's up, y'all? Welcome back, guys. Welcome back, man. Got another great video for you guys today, man. And once again, I tried, guys. I tried to put the Scottie Pippen nonsense in the rearview mirror. You guys saw the video I did a couple days back. I extended an olive branch to, to Scottie Pippen, and I, I tried to do a video highlighting Scottie Pippen in a positive light, you know, because... People are taking, you know, my videos, putting his career in perspective, right? Stopping the lies that he's talking about Michael Jordan. People are taking that as me disrespecting Scottie Pippen or people like me not putting respect on his name. And we're acting like, you know, we don't give him any credit, things like that. And we all know that's not true. But I tried, guys. But once again, I heard some nonsense that Scottie Pippen has said. Now, listen, guys, I'm not up on all the current, you know, current affairs on social media and things like that i'm not guys i'm not active like that i make my videos about the topics but i'm not that you know like i said i'm not really known or knowing about a lot of this stuff so sometimes i'm late to the party guys but anyway you guys know what to do in this video guys we're going to talk about scotty pippen and some more recent comments he made about the first couple of years that he was in the nba saying that he was not really you know trying and he wasn't really you know, he was messing around and he was going out partying and things like that. We're going to talk about this nonsense, guys. You know what to do. Turn that volume all the way up, guys. Hit that play button. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes, man. We're going to stop the lies about Michael Jordan. We're going to stop this nonsense, guys. My God. And let's go. So, yeah, guys, man. Once again, like I said, I'm late to some of these things. I don't know if you guys have heard this, but Scottie Pippen... He was on some podcast or something. They got to stop putting these guys on podcasts, man, a lot of these guys. They got to stop these guys with these podcasts. This is getting ridiculous because now guys are just talking to talk. And Scottie Pippen said something about the first couple years in the league. He didn't really take it serious, and he was messing around, and he was immature, and, you know, he was going out partying, and he was enjoying his money. These are the things that he said, guys. Now, like I said, to me, this is news. I don't know how long ago this, this was said. I don't know if this was recently. I don't know if this was a year ago. I don't know, guys. But I never heard of that before. So I'm going to go and give my, my the facts or how Pippen exposed himself, right? He has exposed himself once again, Scottie Pippen. How do you expose himself, guys? Well, like many of us have tried to point out to a lot of these younger folks out here who don't really know or didn't grow up watching the Bulls, and they think that Scottie Pippen was this, you know, superstar play that he really was not. What we try to explain to these kids or we try to explain or we try to, you know, highlight, right, put, put perspective on is the fact that Scottie Pippen did not come into the NBA ready-made player. He did not. Came from a small school. Yeah, he was a number, what, five pick, whatever he was. That's great. There have been a lot of top five, top three. There have been a number, number one picks that end up doing nothing in the NBA. So it doesn't matter what number you're selected, really, right, in the grand scheme of things. It does not matter. So Sky Pippen did not come into the NBA with any of those skills. He did not come into the NBA as a defensive stopper. You know, this all-time great defensive player. He didn't have any offensive game. He never developed an offensive game because he never had an offensive game. People like to make it as if Scottie Pippen came into the NBA like Michael Jordan did. You know, in the rookie of the year running, you know, in the MVP voting and the all-NBA all team. He was an all-star. He was none of those things. Scottie Pippen was not even on the all-rookie team, guys. Think about that. Go down the history of NBA players that have made the all-rookie team that end up doing nothing else after that, guys. Go down the line. Scottie Pippen didn't even make the all-rookie team. Now, that doesn't say anything about Scottie Pippen overall, but what I'm saying is we have to think about these things and put it into context. When people try to make a scene or talk about Scottie Pippen coming in and saving Michael Jordan and that Michael Jordan wasn't winning without Scottie Pippen, because what those comments about Scottie Pippen or, or what those or how those uh, comments that he made about being immature and being out partying and not taking it serious and things like that, how that exposes him, exposes him as one number one, a, a liar. He's, he's definitely a, he's definitely a liar. Right. Yeah. Maybe he wasn't. He was doing some of those things. Absolutely. No doubt about it. I'm not going to say, you know, he wasn't or whatever, but he's lying about half this stuff. Why are you bringing this up now? It makes no sense. It's not relevant. Because what is he trying to do now? Once again, he's trying to rewrite history. That's what these guys are doing with the lies. They're trying to rewrite the history of the NBA that's already been done, that we already watched. Right? We watched that movie already. So now they're trying to come out, come on like Scottie Pippen, and now he's trying to, 
you know, he's trying to show or, or make excuses why he wasn't that great those first couple of seasons. And what I'm saying about him being exposed is because now he's exposing himself as what we were all saying, that he was not there for Michael Jordan those first couple of years. And in fact, when Scottie Pippen first came on to the Bulls, he was not the reason they were winning. He helped the Bulls win in a small part. But Michael Jordan was always the main factor here. Guys like a Horace Grant who never get any, any credit. You know what's funny about Scottie Pippen, guys? And I'm going to do a video on this. Scottie Pippen never bigs up Horace Grant. He's always looking for his just due, right? He's always looking for what he didn't get, how he felt slighted. But meanwhile, we could all make arguments that Horace Grant was just as big in that first repeat that Scottie Pippen was, or as Scottie Pippen was. Especially with his down low presence, with something the Bulls needed. But Scottie Pippen will never bring up Horace Grant. He'll never say, hey man, me and Horace came in, who came in together, the same draft class, guys. On the Bulls together, that same draft. He never bigs up Horace Grant. Never does, right? He's always wanting everybody to point the finger at him. He wants all the credit. That's why it's all about him. That's why he's trying to rewrite the history, guys. So for Scottie Pippen to say that he didn't take it serious his first couple of years and he was out partying and this and that, also, how does that expose Scottie Pippen? Wasn't this the same man complaining about the money that he didn't get or money that he wanted because he didn't make a lot of money early in his career? So you weren't too much worried about the money originally when you first came in the league. Now, all these years later, you want to make and talk about how much money you were spending and you was doing all this nonsense off the court? You're exposing yourself all over the place, Scotty, without even realizing it, man. You're just explaining everything that we've been trying to explain for us. That you're a liar and that the first couple of years that you were in the NBA, you were nothing. You were nothing compared to what people are trying to make it seem. You were nothing on the level of a Michael Jordan when you first came in the league. And that you learned from Michael Jordan through those years. The development. Right? Where were you in 1988, Scottie Pippen? Where were you in 88? Where were you in 1989 Eastern Conference Finals in Game 6 when Bill Lane Beer elbowed you in the head? Where were you in, in 1990 Eastern Conference Finals Game 7 with the migraine? Was that because you were out partying, Scotty? You see what I'm saying? You're exposing yourself. You're a coward, man, and you've always been mentally weak. Scotty Pippen, to this day, is still not mentally strong, guys. And he proved it to us time and time again with comments like this. He's still upset, still envious, still jealous. He really believes that he doesn't get any credit. My goodness. Guys, I grew up in this time in the 90s, guys. I grew up in it. I'm telling you right now, Scotty Pippen got his credit, man. We all loved Scotty. Everybody appreciated Scotty Pippen. Everybody mentioned Scotty Pippen when they talked about the Bulls. It was not just Michael Jordan, guys. Some of the other guys, or Horace Grant, some of these other guys, yes, they didn't maybe not get the shine or the credit that they were maybe truly deserved. But come on, guys, that's the way it always goes with everything. But Scotty Pippen, who seems to be most burned by this, he absolutely got his credit. He had his fans. People were wearing his jerseys. Come on, Scotty. I can't believe some of this stuff. I'm so tired of the lies, man. Now he's trying to make excuses for why he struggled in the beginning. Come on, Scotty. And anybody who believes that Scotty Pippen came into the NBA or he truly was the reason why Michael Jordan started to win or the Bulls were starting to win, you're mistaken. Go watch the games, guys. Listen to Scotty Pippen's comments. He wasn't there mentally, right? We always said that he was mentally weak. His entire career, he was mentally weak. Michael Jordan was the reason. He was the big brother. He stood up to the bullies for Scotty. He got in Xavier McDaniel's face, right? He got in Dennis Rodman's face. He got in Mark Aguirre's face and Patrick Ewan's face, Charles Oakley, all these guys that were trying to punk Scotty Pippen at one point or, or another in the career. Michael Jordan stood up for these guys. He looked out for them on the court. Scotty Pippen talking about he wasn't uh, really doing what he was supposed to be doing. We know, Scotty, you weren't that dude, man. That goes also to show what Michael Jordan's tutelage did for Scotty Pippen. Right? In the mind. Showing him the example. It was the example that Michael Jordan gave for him. 
Man, Scotty, I'm so tired of the lies, man. Stop trying to make it seem as if Michael Jordan wasn't the greatest or, uh, you know, or the greatest, you know, reason why the Bulls were winning, the most important reason the Bulls were winning. Scotty was never on that level, man. And for him to make those comments all these years later, man, like I said, trying to make excuses for why he was putting up the numbers he was putting up. You were putting up the numbers you were putting up, Scotty, because that was all the game that you had at that point. And you never developed a jump shot. You never developed any offensive moves, a post-up game. None of that stuff. Stop the lies, man. Remember, it's not about you believing Michael Jordan's the greatest of all time. It's about the lies. It's not about opinions. It's about the lies. Your opinion cannot be a lie. There's a difference. I've told some of you guys in the comments. Your opinion is not a lie. If you say that Michael Jordan's era was weak, that's not your opinion. That's a flat-out lie. If you say that Scottie Pippen was the reason Michael Jordan started winning and the Bulls started winning, that's not your opinion. That's a lie. There's a difference there. Catch you guys on the next one.